the zone. So I'm gonna, you gotta watch like the whole fucking 25 minutes of the video, 20 minutes. It's gonna be no cutting it down. 25 minutes up here and utter beauty. Battle Royale. Avoid the gas. Get to the safe zone. Mm -mm. So first, you want to find not a crowded spot, but just an okay place. So fucking hospital or train station. I'm gonna choose train station versus room. I actually never land train station, but I am gonna do. And the first thing you want to get is a scavenger, hands down. People don't usually go for scavengers that much anymore. Purely because all the pros go for them and they don't want to get killed at the very start again. Located a supply box. Secure that position. So you want to get this done in around two to three minutes. Hostiles dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Updating. Move to the next location. That guy's a actually got a game in handy. Um, this guy here. Objectives updated. Move to the next location. Expect to get better later on. Um, should not be eating. I should not be eating. It's kind of stupid for me to offer a bounty because. Oh, I'll close the strike later. I want to get a loadout drop straight away. And then I'm going to show you the loadout that I use. I probably should have showed you that at the very start of the game, but fuck it. <clears throat> I'm not picking up that bounty, did I? So what you want to do is you want to get your loadout drop. You want to get oh, M4 with station. the 10 mag, 10 rounds and a mag. On solos, this is a solo. On duos, you probably want to go with the other one, with the 32 rounds, because it's faster. And then you want to kind of get a sniper with that as well.
Mm. Once I kill this bounty. Now, you want to do another objective. You lost the enemy trackers. You want to get a... Another objective. It doesn't have to be a bounty. I'm just shooting a bounty because you get a lot of money. If you're not that good of a player, do something like a secure the flag kind of thing. Or this one strikes better. Actually, yeah, I'll close strike top of that roof there. Ah, shit. Um, I'll close strike the top of that roof. Oh. Enemy UAV over here. marked. Clear and hot. Loader two zero. Copy. Buster strike away. I moved. Enemy UAV overhead. Only one way. Oh fuck! I only have 24 seconds. For fuck's sake! I didn't really look at the time, did I? Shit. Well, you want to get a self revive or a precision strike. Preferably get self revive and then go and get your precision strike. But I way prefer it. get a precision strike over everything else. The person you got what I think you should go for. What's it? An armor box and definitely keep your armor boxes. Well, fuck. That's a bit of a fuck up. Got my four grand anyway. And that's why you want a ten round because it's so fucking it's just You can turn on people like no tomorrow. Uh where's that sniper at? So there's two loadout drops there. So where's my boy at? Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. It's more close to me. Oh yeah, maybe a time run. You could do a time run, that'd be good. If you're not the best. So this is why you have the precision strike. Now watch Enemy this. So that's him popping the UAV, I assume, and now he's gonna push. I'm just gonna straight up put that precision strike as soon as he gets there. If I can, I'm gonna try and get the snipe on him.
Like the ten bullets just maul you, like a hundred percent. Enemy UAV overhead. Just gonna eat here. Got some coal swallow on this on you. Haven't showered in two days. Died in the gulag. Like, Alright. Or equip. Either either. I want to get a secure the flag. I'm not going to do it. This game because I'm going to set this game. In some games where I'm not set. So say if I don't have my precision strike. Or I don't have my second note out. I definitely go for it. Okay, so someone died here. But yeah, I 100% would go for it. But this game, you don't really want to give away your position when you're set for a game. You don't want people coming to you. You want to kind of chase other people. Yeah, like I'm 100% set for this game. There's no way I'm going to blow this. Watch me get sniped or some bullshit. Some cunt's going to stab me in the back. Watch this. But the good thing about this M4 as well, with the mags on it, it's actually just so good. Like, just have the tactical suppressor. Like, just have them the first one you get. Never mind. Like, it's just, it's the best Enemy one. For like damage wise and shit. Or I'm not gonna stay here. Repositioning. What are their fucking chances? Someone must be also on top of this building. Fuck it. Keep our eyes wide open. That was an easy kill though. Two easy kills. The first one was pretty hard. I'm surprised I even survived the first one. That kind of get, got me going for the game. It's hard to find people. Like, do not do what I'm doing here. If you're trying to play strategically, what I am doing here is like, you You want to like be coming. If you want to get kills, you'd be best like going into the right in the middle of the map are going from like the circle from like the main part of the circle where a load of people would have gone and just run in with the circle but i'm just gonna go and kind of camp almost like this where all the good players kind of kick in you don't find any more shit players really So I'm just going to chill out here, eat some food. Like I said, it's how to win a game, not to get a lot of kills. If you want to get a lot of kills, I just not what I'm doing. This is just to make sure that you're set, you're ready, you want to win, you haven't won before. Now it's not guaranteed that we're going to win, like I can bottle it in the last the last two or three. Which I do quite a lot. That's all down to like, experience though. Like, this to get you in the top ten and get the experience, do what I'm doing now. Enemy UAV over Must be a pop again. And you want to kind of... You don't really want to camp in these sort of places, like two doors, like two openings, that's like really bad because you'd be aiming here and then some cunt will just sneak up behind you and just bam dead, you're not ready for it, you know? You kind of want like a one opening area thing when you camp.
Close door to freak him out. Go up here. Low, buddy. Enemy UAV overhead. And try and not get too focused on one person because there's always going to be another guy around. That is a fucking guy. No, it's not. I honestly thought that was someone. I'm not going to push him either because he's in the advantage and he's actually going to have to get out. He's going to have to move so I'm going to camp here because this guy's going to have to move. Either way. How long it's gonna take him to figure that out? Now this is going to be so strategic here. Idiot left the door open. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. Well, that actually wasn't what I meant to plan, but um Requesting recall on my position. UAV entering the AO. Only one guy in my area with a fucking Oh shit. It's a waiting game. It is not Be a push push game. RTB for resupply. Said so if you want to get a shit ton of kills, you're watching the wrong video. And you want to have a good mic as well. Like a very good mic. So you can hear a lot of things happening. So I'm pushing in with the storm now. It's very dangerous because this is where people usually get picked off in the storm. I just oh, I almost certain that there's gonna be a guy in there. Almost a hundred percent certain. Doesn't even sound loaded actually. I'm probably gonna die here, but at least I have to go like, oh my god. Oscar Mike. Target's marked. Clear and hot. This is Striker 3 1. Good copy. Strike it back. A miss? Oh, wow. Impact, no joy. Final deployment is loading up. Finish the fight. 
Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Need to get to the nearest the shop. Fuck, that is actually the only nearest shop. That. It's gonna fucking hurt. Loadout drop headed your way. Kinda really don't wanna go to that shop. Side town, I'm on the wrong side. I want to kind of run when you know that there's like he shit. Kind of feeling that no one's here, and then there's a guy there, so there's definitely a guy there. Don't know if he saw me, he definitely just did see me. Alright. So we're in the top 12. Which is a positive. Now you have to be okay at the game, like you can't be dead stone useless. But, like, at the same time, don't need to be that good either. Can run while I have the chance, you know that. I could possibly very die here, you know that. I haven't put myself in a good position at all, but I am pushing in with the storm. Only turn left. So we're in the top ten. It's where experienced players are shown, really, and I'm not an experienced player. Gas is 
safe zone located. Oh, now that's where you fuck up. Now that's where you fuck up, Adley. He had extra ammo. He won the game, I bet. That was probably the last guy, was it? Where did I place? Probably play second. Second lap. That's where I fuck up. Second or third? Come on, man. Fuck. How on earth did you not kill me there? Jesus. Ah, well. ah, fucking yeah. hell. I put one of fucking uh, a precision yeah, yeah, track. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Wanker. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. I think you win, but not win. Like. I fucked up. I could have won that, I believe. Really could have won that. But, yeah, so far, you know. And uh, this is what's on my gun anyway. As you saw, it is absolutely brilliant. It really does the job. Now, it fucked me up in the last part because it is only a 10 mil. Or a 10 round mag if it was any more it would be honestly just too good i can understand why it has 10 like that's what makes it not perfect so you have to be real strategic about it but i have this on it and i'm this is the barrel that i uh the barrel that i use it's just the damage is unbelievable on it i use the monolithic suppressor the second best one would be the tactical suppressor the lightweight suppressor just fucking useless don't use it i use no optic but if i was to choose an optic it definitely would be um, this one the monocle reflex sight or is that the one i think i think that one there the VLK, wait, let me tell you. It's on my. It is on my. AN94. Yeah, the VLK optic. So, if I was to use I'd use the VLK optic. And obviously, the best fucking stock would be this one. Or just use the normal stock, really. If you want to use a different grip or an underbell or an optic, I recommend you get rid of that stock. But I keep it there. I use fully loaded. But if I was like, you could use an FMJ. That might make it even more fucking overpowered than it already is. Like, but you kind of do want it. You know what? I'll try it for this game. But it is good to have the fully loaded, personally, I believe. Like, how much more fucking... Like... It already, like, the damage on it is already so good. Like, how much do you need? And I go with a ghost and spotter. I need to actually put spotter... Oh, I do have it on my sniper. I have spotter on it. I think spotter is really, really good to use. Obviously, ghost. You want to have ghost on it. Just you just need it. Okay, quick fix. Don't need that. Cold blooded is also good. Um. I don't know what scavenger does. Uh, I don't think that works. On but that does kill chain. I don't know what that does. Oh, can't train. That's not bad. Then. 
Yeah, I guess you could use kill chain if you got a lot of kills. Uh, but no, I think spotter is the best. Anyway, some people actually do use. Wait, reduce strength of energy storm. That would actually be pretty good as well, but I I just still uh, think that's the best. And lethal would be a cocktail. I use all the time, all the time. C fours are just too much effort. That's true. Throwing it then pressing something it takes like an extra second, and plus you miss with a C four. You hit this thing. It's like a three meter range all around. Like it's hitting nearly everything. Um, thermite is pretty much the same, just not all that great. And flame throwing, fucking no, fuck that shit. Heartbeat sensor, I think, is the key to success in most games. But anyway, that is the end of the video. I came fourth place. I didn't win. I got close. But that's if you watch my gameplay and the way how I played. It's a very slow paced game. It's not rocket science per se, but it's a lot of experience that went into it and I pretty much gave you all the key tips you really need. Like that loadout, loadouts aren't really the main thing. That gun really did save me though. That fucking, that really did save me. Like a lot, that game, that gun did. And I don't think there's any other gun like that to be honest with you, but sure, that's that. And uh, have a good have a good day.